Hello everybody, this is George Ponder for WPCentral.com. Got a quick overview for you on the Nokia ProCam camera app that's right now currently only available for the Lumia 1020 Windows phones. There's your general, this is your, your viewfinder. You've got your settings controls up top. You've got a thumbnail preview of the last image you took as well as access to your picture library where you can scroll, scroll around to all your pictures. You can toggle between still images and video by just tapping on the icon and it bounces back and forth between video camera and still image. Your double arrows down below that pulls up your lenses. Three dot menu, you can toggle between your front camera and main camera. Your shutter delay brackets, review on, You've got a tutorial and then your settings. Now your settings for pictures, it has your framing grids, whether it be the rule of thirds, golden ratio, a crosshair, your aspect ratio, four to three or 16 to nine. Capture mode, this is your five megapixel or five megapixel plus that high resolution image that you can use your save later feature with. Now, depending on your aspect ratio, that 38 may be a 34. The 16 to 9 knocks it down to only a 34 megapixel image. You have your facial detection as well, as well as access to the other camera settings, turning your location services on and off, things of that nature. As far as video is concerned, you've got your framing grids, your resolutions. You really only have two, your 1080p and your 720p but you have three options on your frame rate. You got 30, 25, and 24 frames per second on each resolution. Now to adjust a setting up top, you've got your flash, white balance, focus, ISO levels, and shutter speed, as well as your exposure compensation settings up top. So you don't have to go back and forth between the uh, settings menu. It's all right there. Just tap on, say, ISO, it pulls up this uh, pinwheel dial where you can just move around and choose your ISO. If you want to stay auto, just tap auto, hit back, and it hides it. If you want to look at them all, just slide your shutter button, your on-screen shutter button out, pulls up all your pinwheels. Just make your adjustments as you see fit and slide it back. Now, if you notice you got a little red line up top, that's an indicator that the settings you have chosen isn't going to yield a good picture, so you may want to rethink things. Either turn on the flash, adjust, tweak the settings or something, but this is saying that this shutter speed is too fast for these lighting conditions. Now a couple of downsides to ProCam. There is a lag time for startup. Come on. There is a lag time for startup, and you can't save your settings. It'd be nice to be able to have settings profiles. So if, say, you, you're shooting something, a moving subject, say action photography, that'll give you a high shutter speed, low light, high ISO level. Now, the zoom later feature is kind of neat. Go ahead and take a look at the last picture I took. When you preview this, you'll have three button controls, one to return to the camera, one to delete the image, and the other to edit it. When you tap the edit, you can rotate the picture around. You can zoom in and crop it. You've got a couple of aspect ratios to frame it with. When you see something you like, just hit save. And that version of the image is saved. Now this uses that high resolution, the 38 or 34 megapixel image to edit. If you use the native camera app, it only shoots at 5 megapixels and you can't edit these pictures. So if you decide you don't like this edit, tap the button. You can move it about or go back to the original frame. Hit save and there you go. Now real quickly, if you're in the pictures hub, And you're looking at a picture you took with uh, Nokia ProCam. All you got to do is tap your three-dot menu, 
open in ProCam. And again, you can edit however you want. Go back to the full image if you'd like. Hit save and there you have it. It's a really nice feature. Probably the one downside, one of the, the shortcomings of the 1020 is the close focusing distance. It's like 12 inches as opposed to 6 on other Windows phones. But the zoom feature, I mean, heck, when you can zoom in and get that detail, I can live with the extra, the larger focusing distance. It's a really nice feature. Uh, I can't say that enough. No kid that knocked it out of the park with this one. But there you have it, an overview for the Lumia 1020, the Nokia ProCam that's running on the Lumia 1020. Once you use it, you're, it it's going to be real hard to go back to the native Windows Phone camera app. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.